Damn, my Jeep is leaking some major oil. And my truck is leaking. Let me zoom in, you guys can see my truck. And my truck is dropping some major oil. Damn, don't worry guys, I got a solution for that. What up my dudes, how am I doing on today? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back today. We're back here at Walmart, but yes, I'm feeling way better. Thanks for asking, but I gotta show you guys this really quick. Boom, this is a new Jeep Rubicon. Look at it, it looks so nice, it looks so gorgeous. But not today, not today. One day, but not today. So anyways, we're here at Walmart again, but this time we're gonna do some business here at Walmart, because this time, it's the end of the month, and I got some money from the side job that I do. If you guys don't know, I buy and sell cars, and the payment came through, and I have to pick it up today. The person that purchased the vehicle is from out of town, so I got to come here. He gets a receipt, I get a receipt, and the money is taken care of from out of town. And you can tell the holiday spirit is coming closer because the uh, Salvation Army is out here at Walmart. Let's pick up some money at the money center. That was the fastest time I ever went to the money center. No one was actually there. So I went in and went out. Wow. Anyways, ironic how it is, how, how life changes and stuff. The person that purchased the vehicle is my high school buddy. So it's really cool that I helped him out in the time of need. And he helped me out in the time of need too. People helping people. Powerful stuff. I always say that on my channel. It's powerful stuff. And today I'm all dressed up in blue. I feel like that song. Oh, what's that song? Oh, double D, I'm gonna die. Double D goes, everything is blue. Even his blue ho house and his blue Corvette. Yeah, I feel like exactly like that song. So anyways, money taken care of. Got some money. Now I gotta go to the bank and drop it off. Like I said, this is how we decided to do it. Him and I, um, we thought it would be easier if we just do it at the money center and stuff. I told him different options. I do it with different people that I'd doing it before. And they, he told me, no, nah, I just do it to Walmart. And I was like, all right then. So we got some money. Listen to this. I don't know if it's gonna pop out today or it's gonna make the sound today, but listen, listen. Whew, I feel like that guy. Linda, Linda, listen, listen, but check this out, listen. It kinda did it, but it didn't make it. That was my music. Why y'all? How does the other guy say it? Why? No, he says, Yegua. Like I says, Yego! Something like that. It's freaking dope. You can't hear right now, but the engine, when I turn on the truck, it squeezes. It goes. Ah, 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 ah. It's making it a little bit, but you can barely pick it up on camera, I bet you. Anyways, we're gonna fix that problem today. If you guys don't know, today is gonna be mechanic video. What up, my dudes? I'm back. I changed, as you guys can see. I came from the bank, like I said, and I went to AutoZone as well because I bought a couple of things that I said we're gonna fix the pickup truck and we're gonna fix the problem. First thing first, Boom, we bought this. This is recommended from AutoZone. The guy that was there helped me out. He says that this will help um, stop the leakage of the oil that we have. And I also bought this. Boom. That's right, baby. I bought this. You guys are wondering, um, what is this? And the picture, what is this? I'm going to show you guys what's going on right now. But for the meantime, start moving some cars around so I can have some space and figure out what I'm going to work at. So if you guys can remember, I've been doing previous videos and telling you guys that the Envoy is 100% um up and running oh man it smells like gas so bad so we're gonna move the envoy back what we did last time to the cheat cheat spot so a little bit lifted so we can just go under there make it easier for us and hopefully we're gonna we've bought the parts and hopefully this part is the key to it so we're gonna check it out hey juan this tire's kind of flat then again i got my pops here again you guys know my vigil juan we call him juan like I said in all the videos, the dad treatment and stuff. So he's gonna help us out, pour out more things to it, and show us what's really going on and what's happening to get more depth into the situation we're going on. The first time we're gonna fix the envoy on the quicks. I'm not gonna record much of the envoy because we did a lot of videos of the envoy, and it's basically the same problem that we're gonna replace and fix out. So this is the part that we're gonna replace. This is the part that's in there. So it's gonna be a quick swap out and swap in. And hopefully the engine will come back to working as normal as it was supposed to be doing back in the day. It was working fine, perfectly fine. So hopefully this does help it and hopefully it goes back to running. And then we're gonna jump on to Linda and I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on with Linda and hopefully we can fix Linda as well. So this is the part that we're gonna replace. Let me zoom in for you guys. 
is just this part. What's this part called? Crankshaft sensor. The crankshaft sensor. So hopefully this is the problem. That's the brand new one. Boom! That's the one that we pulled out from the envoy just right now. So, so we went to AutoZone because the check engine lights on. We are wondering what was going on. Here's a new one. Here's a new one, Juan. Okay. And we are wondering what was going on. And this code came out as a sensor. Indicate that this might be bad. And the way that it's looking right now, uh, the machine might be right. Here it goes. Oh, man. Wait, it's warming up. It's still shaking. Nope. It still smells like gas. So, on the papers of AutoZone, there's another sensor. It's the coolant sensor for that one. It's a coolant sensor. That's what the other codes came on. So, maybe that is a problem. We already tried. How many sensors we tried? We already tried three sensors. And none of them click, none of them ran good, none of them helped the envoy at all. So now we're gonna move on to the pickup truck, which is Linda over there. Get this day one, which is Linda over there. So now that I got Linda up in here with the heart surgeon coming in, some doctors, I'm the doctor over here, so some doctors are gonna be working on Linda right now. We're gonna be changing this belt right here because when I turn it on, it makes a squeaky noise and it's getting to me, it's bothering me. So we're gonna do that right now. So you guys can probably hear it now, that squeaky noise. Problem we're gonna fix on the pickup. So this is basically it, the surfacing belt that we're gonna be placing in. I explained here in the diagram, see how it goes into here, then off to here, over, in, out, all that good stuff. We're gonna do the same thing here, how it's already in place. We're gonna take this off first, and then we gotta put the new surfacing belt, which is right here. This is how it basically looks. One side's all flat, and the other side's like a little rough edge that has a pass through it to go through. It's all nice and tight, and it cannot come off loose at all. At all. So, Juan, do your magic. Boom, baby! Now I can play with that move it. So, the secret is that over here, this bar right here is called the what, Juan? The tension the belt. The tension belt. Do your trick. And it drops down, and it makes the belt weak. So, now the belt is flexible and movable. So, just like that, the belt's off. Yeah. So now we're gonna put it on the exact same way. Has the diagram, has it for us. Boom. Another. We have another belt. In other words, another belt that's hanging there, and that's the AC. So. It's a small one. That's a small one. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're trying to get the flashlight to work. There's another belt. Have you guys see this belt right here? The AC. This belt, it looks more tear and ripped out. If you guys see in the bottom, you guys can't see, you can't get the flashlight working. So maybe that's the one that's making the noise. Yeah, so we can just check it really quick. And there's a little belt where the flashlight's hitting and it's cracked right there. Hopefully that's the belt that's making that noise. But it's okay, we're gonna still gonna change this big one. I'll put it back on. The new one. Boom, baby. Nice and easy. Took us a while. It took us a while? No, huh? Not long. Let's find the tools. We just gotta find the tools that took us more in doing it because we're low on tools. Since we moved over here, like I said, from Idaho, we had to sell a lot of stuff and tools was a major and a big problem that we saw was tools. Like I said, I was recommend this by the guy in AutoZone to try this out so you can stop spilling. Pour inside the oil where you put the oil in and this supposedly is gonna block all the seals that it has. Hopefully it does work. She's purring nice and quiet. All right, Linda, so we're gonna clean everything up. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about what happened. No more car on that side. The envoy is now right here where Lisa used to be and my Linda is right behind it. So today, like I said, it was a mechanical day. So next on the list is this bad girl, she's gonna be out of here pretty soon once we figure out the problem with her or I'll probably just sell it as is. Like I said, the transmission, like I explained in different videos. So this is the next one on the list. So now that I'm having money so I can now finally get tires for Linda, I can finally fix the alignment for Linda and I can finally go pick up the other car that I've been telling you guys for a long time, keeping you guys on suspense of what car I have over there in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, my cousin's house has been it's been there for like since I moved over here and I promised him that I'll get out of here ASAP but how life is and turns and twists we couldn't have enough cars here added in the lot if you guys are wondering where's RJ RJ's way back there I thought after being her back pretty soon around here the Linda's blocking her so that's what happened today 
Um, good day. We fixed the uh, truck. We fixed the uh, envoy. Did not did not work, but we're one um, check off that checklist to figure out what's wrong with this envoy so my mom can get her car back and running again. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you guys like what I do, subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram at Louis Vlogs. You already know the best thing. Now I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.